A project work order is created by first retrieving an existing project into the project work order entry screen. Notice that the possible values list identifies those projects that have already been enabled as PWOs, as designated by the P in the work order type column. Once an existing project has been loaded into the PWO screen, simply saving it will enable it as a project work order. Notice that all the tasks defined for the project are loaded into the task detail grid. Inventory requirements for a given task may be defined by first moving that task's processing stage to plan, then clicking on the Material Requirements and Issues button. This brings up the Material Requirements and Issues grid. If you're already familiar with the Solomon work order module, you'll soon recognize that the forms and underlying processes are identical. Materials may be added to the material list by simply referencing the item, either by typing it in or by looking it up, specifying the quantity required and the date you plan to pull it from inventory. Let's switch to form view so we can see all the information available to us as we enter the item. I'll select a chain guard for our illustration with a quantity required of 150. I'll plan on issuing the chain guards to the PWO on January 15, 2003. Notice that the item's unit cost is retrieved from inventory and used to generate a budgeted cost for that item. As we enter additional items, note that the materials budget is accumulated at the bottom of the screen. This value may be optionally used to automatically set the materials budget for this task. Notice also that the available and on-hand quantities for this item are conveniently displayed for quick reference. The available quantity is affected by the quantity remaining to be issued. This quantity is determined by adjusting the quantity required by the quantity already actually issued to the PWO. Project Work Order keeps track of all this automatically. Another method for adding materials to the list involves using the Kit Bomb button. I'll switch back to Grid View to better illustrate this feature. When you click this button, a subform is displayed that allows you to reference either an inventory kit or a bill of materials. The selection is used as a template multiplied by the quantity you designate, resulting in an exploded list of extended requirements. This is very useful for simplifying and accelerating data entry. The Inventory Status Inquiry button launches Inventory Status Inquiry for the item you're highlighting. Quantity Details opens a subform that provides a comprehensive audit trail of sources and uses of this item for this task. For details, please see the separate demo video entitled Using the Quantity Details screen. The Materials Check button opens a subform that lets you do a quick check on both on hand and available to promise shortages. This form would typically be reviewed just prior to releasing the task for actual processing. The Grid Pop and Issue Material buttons become enabled when the task is moved to the released processing stage. The Routing button opens a form where you can define traditional manufacturing routing information for planning and reporting purposes only. Labor and asset resources may be allocated here. For more details, please view the separate demo video entitled Resource Planning. Quick Print Traveler provides a quick way to print a shop paper's type of report for the highlighted task, which includes a summary page with notes, a pick list for materials, and the routing. Work Order Inquiry launches the Work Order Inquiry program for a detailed analysis of revenue, costs, and profitability. For more details, please view the separate demo video entitled Work Order Inquiry. All events triggered from within Project Work Order are tracked in an Event History table. Clicking the Event History button will open Event History Inquiry. Work in process may be applied and relieved easily with Project Work Order. The WIP Tracking tab for the selected PWO gets its information as a default from PWO Setup, but may be changed on a PWO by PWO basis. For more details, please view the separate demo video entitled WIP Tracking Made Easy. Finally, the Other Information tab provides for access to settings for the selected PWO 
that were defaulted from module setup when the PWO was created. This concludes our demonstration of project work order entry.